Okay, so here we go. This is the laser. And that's the uh, universal 30 watt laser and the Lambda power supply. And here we have a 500 counts per rev encoder on a servo motor, geared down of course. And over here we have the mirrors. Uh, I had to take the other gold mirrors out because they were too damn small. I couldn't uh, line them up properly. And that's the stepper motor for the y-axis. And here's the wonderful wiring. It uh, used to look like two octopuses fighting, but uh, since I've taken the other glass tube out, uh, it's taken a lot of the wiring away from it. Now I've got a file here on the computer. Just uh, see how that goes. Uh, just to show you how smooth it runs. Now the stepper motor here has got a rubber mount on it. It uh, takes a heck of a lot of vibrations away from the table. Without the rubber mount, it really screams. As you can see it's actually really quiet. It doesn't make a lot of humming noises. And on the bottom of the carriage I took the bottom wheels off because I didn't need them. There's enough weight in the carriage to actually hold it down on the, the guides. And the guides are only thick walled one inch square tubing. Behind we have the suction for the air. I've yet to connect that up. Hopefully it should work okay. The slots underneath. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to uh, cut the simple little file here. This is 30 watt. I don't think you can read it there. I've set the printer up. I've got a switch for the laser here because I'm still having trouble with the uh, software. I've just got to flick that on and hit enter here and off we'll go. Now, if on, hit enter. And as you can see, I uh, still having trouble with the software because the air assist has been turned off. It's a bit of a bummer, it makes too much smoke otherwise. And 
that's what it's supposed to stop. It's supposed to stop everything from catching fire. Well, I'll put that out later. So the laser doesn't actually turn off in between the cuts, so uh, we're going to have to get that sorted out. Apart from that, it's uh, not doing too bad a job.